week, everybody. I hope everybody had a wonderful, blessed week. So this was part of the blowout. Whoa, so much happening over here. First of all, you got the whole world is about to get destroyed. Everybody that's alive and breathing on the land is going to die. Birds, animals, people, creatures. But the only thing that went on the boat was an animal that's two of everything. Two of each animal that didn't fall into sin by mixing, by a lion not sleeping with a donkey. Okay? Species stuck with themselves and everything was just with the species and it was male and female. Male and female. There's no hundred genders. Idiots. Sorry, but you know, you guys are idiots if you think there's more than two genders. It's male and female. And now, God promises that after this flood, He promised to Noah after the flood was over, everything got destroyed because of all of our evil inclinations. God promised Noah, I showed him the sign, the rainbow, to his whole entire family, that I will never make it down. He made a covenant with Noah, that he will never destroy the earth again with the flood. With the flood, that's what it says. But the fact that we're all forgetting, we all don't know, with everything that's in the way of today, with everything that we see, all the new day games, all the things that we love, that we think we love, to make ourselves feel better, to be loved, materialism, inappropriate acts, inappropriate behaviors, it's the evil inclination within all of us. We have the ability to shed blood. We're not supposed to shed blood, and, and this world, there's so much of it. There's so much hate, there's so much murder, there's so much people that don't love it. Or, what they enjoy is to be terrorists. What they enjoy is to be horrible, which actually is in here, because Ham, Ham was no one's son, and no one's son, out of three. And Ham did an evil act. His son cannot. And what was it? I mean, it says, the only saw his nakedness, his other two sons covered him up, walking backwards not to see their father. But sages say, cut him off. Same thing that Cain did to Hamel, which a lot of you people know is Cain and Abel. And Cain, he killed his own brother for a reason, because he wanted to be, it was only two sons that Adam and Eve had at that moment. And Cain wanted to run the world. He says, I don't want him to inherit anything. And the same thing Ham did. Ham caught off his father, you know, so he can't have any more children. He wanted his portion of the world, so he got punished. And this punishment became, became a people who always want a war. People, like when you see on the tribes, the naked people wearing like, you know, they're, they're butt naked running around their tribes. They're always bare ass. These are the people, they became enslaved, they run around barefoot, and we still see this today. And they became enslaved to for other people. Tom's generation had to pay back for everything that they do, and they continue to do. We also learned that Avram is born out of this generation. He came from the good son Shem, who always studied Torah and learned. And it's just, they were righteous people and they were horrible people. And then there's the people in between who try, which is all of us. We should be trying for goodness, for kindness. You see this world today, there are liars, cheaters, thieves, murderers, transgenders, homosexuals. This is the reason why the world got flooded in the first place. People chase evil pedophiles, child molesters. We have them in government. I mean, that's why Epstein got killed. You know, he didn't commit suicide. We all knew that. But anybody that this person touches, Killary, goes on suicide. You know, like, anybody.
anybody that has anything to do with something, and we see this corruptness all over the place, but these people are so protected. God is going to punish them. It's fine. Those that kill people will never be having an afterlife. But there's more, there's more, there's more. The fact that there's seven laws in Noah hide, and we have to follow them. It makes you righteous. We speak about this all the time. I continue to speak about this, and if you're Jewish and you can't follow the seven laws, you're in trouble. But it's on you. But at the end of the day, it's on all of us, because we all have to be able to want. It's all our duty. This is what God left to us. He left us the seven laws of Noah. Why did he keep Noah alive? Why did he have faith in Noah? Why was Noah in the ark and his family? Why did Noah get chosen? Because Noah was righteous out of all of them. Out of all seven. He did all the seven. He followed everything to the fullest. And had full faith and kept it moving and moving and moving. He didn't care what anybody was thinking. For 120 years, this guy was building the boat. And it was all meant for one purpose. They cleansed the earth. But God promised Noah he'll never destroy the earth again. No matter how deep our sins are. Knowing that our sins are going to be sinful. Knowing that we all have sins. I sinned a lot in my life. And it's hard. It's hard to turn things and change things. But it's a battle that we should continue doing. We all have darkness inside of us. But we just have to learn how to bring it into light. It's our duty. And then there was light and everything was good. And we have to work hard with light and be good. Get the darkness out of your life, people. It's not, it's not a healthy situation. When you get used to the darkness, you're going to stay in the darkness. And that dark path only leads to horrible things, worse and worse. I see many people failing and falling into darkness. I see many people just drowning. I see many people just drowning. I used to drown so much. But we gotta keep our head above water. We gotta be in that ark and keep coming to that temple. How do we do it? By learning every day. Learning good deeds, by going out there doing good deeds, learning the Torah. Doing the Torah, being about God. We forget the power, we forget the magic, we forget that there is a creator sometimes. Many of us in this world don't know that there is a creator. Like we believe in science. I didn't come from a monkey. I didn't come from a monkey. Did you? Did you believe in that BS that they taught us in elementary school? That we elevated from monkeys? <laughs> This man, God made man, God made every single creature, every single creature has a purpose. And again, let's go back, there's only two genders. The world needs to wake up with the stupidity and destroy the evil. And how do we destroy the evil? By rising above, by teaching the world seven laws and all of By rising strong and continuously, continuously. If you're learning Torah, put it out there. We have the ability, the capability, there's so much faster than this generation. Has so much power to spread the message. No one didn't spread the message because he stayed by the boat. He got a big, huge boat, and anybody who saw it, they asked that question, what's going on? No one told them. They didn't spread the word. They didn't care. Evil inclination. We have to care more. We have to. We have to. We have to. It's our duty because then we'll drown. You want to flood your life? Flood it with goodness. Flood it with cleansiness. Flood your life with joy, with brightness, with goodness, with righteousness. It gets better and it gets better. I'm telling you it gets better. I mean, it, 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 the, it's the fact that our whole duty is to refine it. To refine every single bad intentions that we have. We all have an evil inclination again. We have capabilities where we can do bad things, which is not good. But we also have capabilities of being righteous. It's in our blood. We come from it. Noah repopulated this whole world. We all come from Noah. And it all started from Adam and Eve. Not a monkey. Scientists are dumb. You just like to make money and write books about whatever your theories are. I believe most scientists are just theoretical. They have theories. And because they did so good in this corrupt system that we have now, they get paid for it. 
The book is in front of you. Torah means teachings. And it's all God's teachings. For those who don't know, know Torah, at least learn the seven and follow the seven. Yo, I promise you, life will be great. You'll be blessed with the seven. The 